four judicial officers, magistrates, and justices in Barbados and Trinidad and Tobago where we've started. And it's based on a Mexican gender protocol so that judges can look when they're making a decision, make sure they're referencing international treaties that they've signed on to, whether it's the Commission on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women, make sure they know what the update has been to the legislation in their own countries and jurisdictions, and to see where precedent has already been made in other areas. Because a lot of time, if you're a magistrate and you're getting case after case after case, sometimes you don't know the details of what the new legislation is and what it says. So we will be launching one of the first draft gender protocols in the region in Barbados by the end of the year in Barbados. We are also collaborating with the Caribbean Court of Justice on this work as well, because one of the things is it's great to have a gender protocol, but if you have a judicial officer who doesn't believe in gender equality, it is useless. So you have to also do the sensitization work, and that's what we've been working with the Caribbean Court of Justice and the Caribbean Association of Judicial Officers on. One of the things that is often not discussed when we, well, it's, it's discussed in, a, in, in sometimes an implicit way, but not overtly. If we don't address economic empowerment, we are not going to end violence against women or reduce it. Because a lot of women feel, and again, it goes to this modification, if you don't feel your own worth and value, and a lot of people get their worth and value from what they do in the public sector, which is, you know, we have, could have long kinds of philosophical debates about that but also the ability to take care of yourself and your children. You're going to maintain relationships that are often unhealthy so that you can survive. It becomes a survival, an issue of survival. So we've been doing a lot of work on social protection in St. Lucia and Antigua and Barbuda. 